If you'd like to cut your electricity use in half, a group we spoke with today say that's possible, but you got to pay up front. Those upfront costs can go well over 10 grand, but proponents say you'll save a lot on the back end. ABC 13's Chaz Miller joins us in the newsroom to explain. So Chaz, how does this work? All right, Brianna, I just learned a lot about this today. We're talking about geothermal energy, which basically uses the Earth's heat to create electricity. There's a new communal housing community going up in the East End. They plan on using geothermal energy, and they say it is absolutely worth the cost for a multitude of reasons. Let's start with this, geothermal technology at its simplest form. It uses the Earth's heat to create energy. And that's what they'll be using at Co-Housing Houston, a new communal housing concept going up in Houston's East End off of Del Mar. They're currently drilling 62 holes in the ground to make this happen, and they say that while doing this costs 50% more up front, it will more than pay for itself over the long term. Now, it's not completely electricity free. The pumps it uses requires it, but project developers say it'll use up to 50% less of it. It's a technology that isn't new to our area. The architect behind Co-Housing Houston says they use it at the Houston Endowment Building near Memorial Park, as well as at Fire Station 55 on Cullen. That being said, it's hardly widespread. As for Co-Housing Houston, sustainability is important to their community, which hopes to move in in about 12 months if things stay on schedule. This was very important to the group early on to uh, one of their core values is sustainability. And uh, this was a way that they could live into that core value from the very beginning by having this very sustainable energy source as a part of the project. Now, Kelly went on to say that you can have your home retrofitted for geothermal energy, though he says it works at its most efficient when it's done as part of a new building project. As far as getting those projects done, they had to get a crew out of North Texas to do it. Gives you an idea of just how hard it is to find people who will actually do this work on a widespread level like they're having done at Co-Housing Houston. Live in the newsroom, I'm Chaz Miller, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.